Hey everybody, Clint Louie here coming to us with five minutes from friendship. And I want you to find with me Jerusalem, the nation of Israel. There it is right there. Let me hold it up here to the camera for you. Maybe it'll focus in for us there. You see where my finger is? There it is. Now the Lord Jesus, he was gathered with the church and he's at this moment, he's about to ascend into heaven to sit down at the right hand of the throne of God. And Acts chapter one, verse eight records these words that he spoke. He said, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, right here, Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So he told them they were to be witnesses right here in Jerusalem, their own backyard, and then Judea and Samaria, which would involve more of the region at large around them, the surrounding regions. And then he said the uttermost part of the earth, which the whole world, they're to be witnesses. And they were to start with and to remember their own backyard. And you know something that's gotten me to thinking, does the church you and I belong to, is it making a difference? Are we fulfilling the great commission with the people right here around us? Now, I don't believe we should neglect worldwide evangelism. And I believe it's a wonderful thing if we send people, missionaries, money, Bibles, clothing, materials, whatever, to people around the world. And we don't want to forget and neglect people around the world. But I also do not want to neglect the people of, of our own backyard in the area where God has planted the church. Now, that being said, let me just ask you a very tough question. It's tough for me to ask and it's tough for me to answer. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask it and you answer where you're at, all right? If you were to just go into town somewhere, you know, restaurant, department store, grocery store, gas station, whatever, doctor's office, anywhere, and you asked a random person, tell me about Friendship Baptist Church or do you know, have you ever heard of Friendship Baptist Church? If you just ask that question, or if you belong to another church somewhere, you say, you know, ask about the name of, of the church you belong to. But do, do you know about Friendship Baptist Church? You ever heard of that? I wonder what the random individual would say. What would the random person say? That is a hard question. Because if, if the public at large, and I'm not saying they all come to, to Friendship Baptist Church, but I'm saying that they at least know about the church. If they, if they don't, if they don't, then that tells me that it's not the public's fault. Rather, it's on me. It, it is on me because I'm, I'm, I'm neglecting the people around me. The Lord placed the churches on the earth. And then he, and he said here in this passage, he said that we are to be witnesses unto him. And he started off there. We told them with Jerusalem, which was right where they were. I was talking to a preacher friend of mine recently, and he made a statement that just really just, just plucked a chord in my heart. He named, he, he's another state, and he named the county that he lived in, or he lives in. And he said, I love my county. And he wasn't talking about just the industry and the trees, and the buildings and all. He was talking about the people. I love my county. That struck a chord in my heart. Because I'm thinking to myself, we, starting with me, but we all together, we ought to say and be able to say, I love my county. I love the region around me. And I, I want it to be known that Friendship Baptist Church, that we are working, we are a working church, meaning that we're caring for others. We're reaching out for others. We are gospel witnesses and laborers for Christ, trying to reach and minister and help others. Whatever stage of life they're in, whether they're young or old, whether they're children or adult, whether they're single parent, a married couple, whatever. But we want to make a difference in the name of Christ.
That's my heart right now. That's what's in my soul right now. And I want you to pray for me because I want to be what God wants me to be. And I want us as a church to press on, press ahead, and to make a difference, starting in our own Jerusalem. This is Clint Louie coming to us with five minutes from friendship. Thank you for being with me. God bless you today.